Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is HTML and CSS interview question and answer series. Today's question is what are various ways in which you can integrate CSS into web pages? Here the interviewer is trying to ask you the different ways of how you can add CSS to your web pages. Actually he wants to know whether how many ways have you used it and which one would you prefer? So the answer is the, the there are different ways to integrate CSS into web applications. The first is inline method, the second is internal method, the third is external or linked or imported method. Right? So what do you mean by inline styling? Inline styling means it is used to to provide styles along with an element. Internal means you will write inside the HTML, inside the head tag, inside the style tag, right? Style uh, attribute. External means you will write the CSS outside and just link it inside the HTML page. Let me quickly show you all the three ways so that you will be confident in answering these questions when you are asked. All right. So you see the style. First, let me show you this style, right? So if you see here. There is style border 2px solid red. This is an inline style because the styling is provided right here. Right? If you see here, this is inline styling. Internal means you will provide styling inside the style tag inside the same document HTML page. For example, you can say background color, say aqua or aquamarine, right? And then you will just assign the class name and say class equal to C1. Right? This is called internal styling because you have the styles defined inside the same document inside the style tag. When we say external style, we are referring it like this. That means the styles are defined somewhere else. We are just linking them here using href. So these are the t three different ways that um, you can add CSS to your web applications. Now the, the next question that can they can ask you is which is the most preferred one, right? So the most preferred one is always external because you want to separate the style with the web page. But there are certain times when you want to override only one or two attributes so writing a inline makes sense rather than an entire class and then assigning it again this is depending upon application but usually the best practice is to have an external uh, style sheet which has variables and which can be dynamically configured that should be your answer stay tuned for more such uh, tricky HTML and CSS questions. I hope you're liking the series. If you like the video, give a like button, hit the like button, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.